In this presentation, I will give you x t x omega pairs. If you remember, in the Fourier series chapter, I gave you x t c n pairs, and in the same way, in Fourier transform chapter, I will give you x t x omega pairs. This means I will give you the pairs of time domain signals and their corresponding Fourier transforms. These pairs are very useful while solving the multiple choice questions. In many MCQs, you don't even need to solve the question and you can have the answer directly using the pairs. So let's move to the pairs we are having. When x t is real, x omega is conjugate symmetric and by using the duality property, when x t is conjugate symmetric, x omega is real. When x t is imaginary, x omega is conjugate anti-symmetric and using the duality property when x t is conjugate anti-symmetric x omega is imaginary and after this when x t is real and even x omega is also real and even when x t is imaginary and even x omega is also imaginary and even and when xt is real and odd x omega is imaginary and odd and by using the duality property when xt is imaginary and odd x omega is real and odd so we are having this table and if you compare this table with the table i have given in fourier series chapter for x t c n pairs you will find the two tables are same so it is very easy to remember this table because it is same for x t x omega pairs and it is same for x t c n pairs now we will move to the next table in which we will have the next eight pairs when the time domain signal x t is continuous x omega is non-periodic and using the duality property when x t is non-periodic when x t is non-periodic x omega is continuous after this when x t is discrete the corresponding Fourier transform is periodic and when x t is periodic using the duality property x omega will be discrete and when x t is continuous and periodic x omega is discrete and non-periodic and when x t is continuous and non-periodic x omega is also continuous and non-periodic and when x t is discrete and periodic x omega is also discrete and periodic and the final pair is when x t is discrete and non periodic when x t is discrete and non periodic the Fourier transform x omega is continuous and periodic so this is another set and combining the two sets you are having total 16 x t x omega pairs so try to remember all the 16 x t x omega pairs because in the coming presentations when we will solve the multiple choice questions we will use these pairs so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one